in constant communications with uh, local school officials about preparations for the big game this week. We know it's uh, nationally televised. We know that we're going to have uh, as many spectators that we will allow into the stadium are going to come in. And so we've been trying to come up with a good plan on how to deal with the social distancing and the mask mandate. Um, I think we have a good plan working with the school officials. We have a, basically a four-step plan. Uh, this is actually step one, is informing. Uh, through messaging, through mainstream media, social media, uh, announcements to inform the public that anybody that's coming to the game, you know, be prepared to wear a mask and or socially distance six feet. And so there's a difference there. If um, you're part of the same household, you don't have to wear a mask if you're together and you're six feet away from other people. I know the schools are making preparations to um, tape off certain parts of the stands and try to allow for social distancing. Uh, you know, that's a tape, so it's, you know, something kind of encourage people to do the right thing. Uh, so, but again, step one is to inform. Uh, the second step would be to remind people. Uh, we'll have officers that are going to be working the game. Uh, we'll have some that are going to be dedicated to working around the stands and the sidelines. And uh, we actually had some signs made, uh, very simple signs. The school made it for us. One side of the sign says mask, and the other side simply says six feet. And so some of our officers will have these signs with them, those that are monitoring the stands and the sidelines and around the concession stand. Uh, the point being that I think just reminding people that, hey, you need to make sure that you're wearing the mask um, if you're in close proximity to somebody else or that you make sure that you're distancing. I kind of envision that we might even, you know, one of the officers might take the flashlight, hit them in the stands with it, show the sign saying mask. I believe that, you know, the vast majority of the spectators will come into compliance, students or parents, that once the officer reminds them, hey, you need to be wearing a mask, I think that they'll come into compliance. I think that um, prevents us from having an officer encounter that person, perhaps embarrass them. If they come into compliance through that reminder, then we're good to go. Uh, the third step would be warning. Uh, if we have somebody that's not in compliance, they've been reminded uh, with a school official uh, the officer would go up there and, and warn them that they have to come into compliance with the mask mandate or the social distancing. Um, and if they don't do so, then they'll be asked to leave the game. If they come into compliance, again, we're done. That's all we want is everybody to do the right thing. Uh, and then we'll, we'll be done with it. Now, if we find out that they're still not in compliance, uh, we've talked with the school about, you know, they would come back to that individual or individuals, and then they'll be asked to leave the game. And, you know, if they won't, then that's, you know, hopefully not something we see. But I think that we will not get to that point. So it's kind of a graduated plan where, again, the goal here is to gain compliance, to remind people that, one, it's the, the law, uh, two, it's the school rules, and three, right now, it's the right thing to do for the pandemic that we're in. And we all want football to happen. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, just kind of talked about that, you know, of course, like with the talks with the school and everything, it's just to – what people can do in the stands to really just make the season possible, which is what everyone wants to see. And that's exactly it. We know that, you know, we're in unprecedented times. And right now that, you know, wearing the mask is where we are and that we have to ensure that's happening so that football can happen. As you stated, um, you know, there's been a lot stated from, from last week's games, a lot learned from last week's games. And I think that's why we have a better plan going into it this Friday. And do you happen to know what the capacity is for the stadium? So it's approximately, you know, approximately 4,700 okay. around that. So okay. slightly less than 5,000, okay. um, but they'll be running less than 50% capacity. Okay. And so again, we have to watch the stands. We got to watch the sidelines, the concession stands. There'll be barricades that are going to be placed out there to help, you know, encourage people to be moving along and not congregate. Okay. Um, I've been in communications with Mobile Police Department that will be accompanying St. Paul's and advising my counterparts in Mobile about the plan for the social distancing and for the masks and for their help for their fans uh, to you know get the compliance on their side. We'll be there to help them as well, but I feel you know they might be more responsive from the St. Paul side from the Mobile officers that will accompany them over.